Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. It is about 2.30 and we are walking into Epcot right now. It's really hot out. We're all in shorts, right? Yeah, yeah. we're all wearing shorts. It's warm today. <laughs> swam yesterday and it's another... We uh, swam on Christmas Day. I don't think I've ever swam on Christmas Day in my whole life. So that was a pretty cool experience. Oh, Five minutes for Spaceship Earth. It goes all the way down there, wraps around, goes all the way this way. This is nuts! Look at how pretty mommy's hair looks. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Eric's favorite place. Oh, mom's still there. Mom's going to get food and drinks for us. What a good mom. Oh my. Okay. Eric's going to go all the way across. Let's see. And you are strong, and it's going uphill too. You're like so strong. Look at this guy. Almost there. Almost there. Did it. Did it. High five. You're good. Eric is all the way over there. Can you hear me? Oh, I hear you. I know, I can barely hear you too. Mommy's supplying us with all the snacks and drinks today. We already finished the pretzel, but... I didn't even get our drinks. Oh, yeah. This is the gingerbread milkshake from that stand that me and Mom went to. She already tried to sip, but just take another it's one. It's very yummy. It is, um, well, obviously gingerbread milkshake and whipped cream vodka, so... Mm. Oh, and it matches your ear. Oh, see that? I'm sure you guys remember these from last year. Right? Yeah, I did wear them last year, right? I think we both wore them on Christmas. And then I got the Guinness Gingerbread Stout. It is so good. They have a six ounce and a 12 ounce. I got the 12 ounce. I'll go down. Eric is a pro at this. Is the floor lava or something? Huh? Is the floor lava? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah? You're new? Are you just that smart? Genius. We made it to Norway. Of course we had to do Frozen. It's a 120 minute wait. Made a magic winter show with summer snow for Sven and me and you. Oh, we're going up to Elsa's ice palace. <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but it's the one on the left. Icelandic, and it's the only one from, right? no, no, it's the only it's one that's not, from Norway. It's not Icelandic. The no. other two are Icelandic. This is the Norway one. Sip it. Yippee, I okay. There we go. Action. So we're right now in Epcot. I have no, no idea what we're gonna do next. I think like test track maybe. In like two hours for us, we're gonna go to eat at, um, where are we eating at? Again? Uh, Coral Reef, the aquarium restaurant. Coral Reef, yeah. You went there or, for your birthday. Yeah, I went there for my um, ninth birthday. No, eighth. Eighth birthday, right? We're gonna go in there in like two hours, but for you, it's probably gonna be like 10 minutes. Or not even, probably not even. Probably less. Yeah. Can you make him dance? So Eric ran ahead to go to the Germany trains and now I'm coming to find him. We didn't even think the trains were going to be here this long. We thought they were going to get rid of them soon. He's sneaking up on mom. Ah, she saw him. <laughs> Look how beautiful this view is that we have while we're sipping on our beers. So pretty. Such a nice night. 
Mom got a Schofferhofer and I got a wheat beer that tastes like Blue Moon. So cheers. Cheers. On to the boat we go. Look at this view while we walk to our dinner reservation. Look at that, oh my gosh, small world. A Long Island burger place that he likes. Oh, this is a good spot, look at this. Professional in America. We had pulled over before when we were passing through America just to watch the show. We were kind of just standing there in the back. And some woman came up to us and she was like, Do you guys want tickets for the show? And I was like, What do you mean? Yes, but how? And she just handed me seven tickets to the Candlelight Processional. And they were actually for the seven o'clock show. But we had 645 reservations for Coral Reef. So I went up to someone that was at the line for like the dinner package thing and asked if they were able to switch it over to the 8.30 show, and they were, and it's like 8.25 right now. We're walking through Canada. Hopefully we make it. America's right there. It's not too far away, but we are kind of far away walking-wise, so we'll see when we get there. Eric got a blanket because he was cold, so he's all ready for the show. Let's go, Candlelight Processional, round two for 2021. in like two minutes. We're crossing the bridge from France towards the globe because we were gonna leave, but I think that we're just gonna get on the Skyliner and just try and see the fireworks from the Skyliner because that would be like amazing and we've never done that. Also, they close at 11. Usually I feel like Epcot closes like shortly after the fireworks normally. So I feel like that's why we've never done 
the fireworks from the Skyliner because we wouldn't be able to get back in to get to the car. So they close at 11 and the fireworks are like an hour, over an hour before they close. So we'll have time to do that today. Or the Disney Skyliner at Epcot International Gateway. Did oh, there's you learn how to say hello in a different there's language no today? Online. That's when we went on it last time. Just enchanting restaurants and live entertainment. Scary. Welcome to Disney's Riviera Resort. Traveling to Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, Disney's Hollywood. Every time we think the fireworks are over, they're not. They're literally still going off. It's after 10 o'clock. They've been going for 15, 20 minutes already. I don't know how long the actual show is, but we got off at the Riviera. They said if we get off here, it's a faster way of getting back to Epcot because you just get off. The thing is you have to walk all the way around this to get back on to go to Epcot. There it goes. There it goes. Oh my god. So I wore this shirt today in hopes of seeing Alice here and we didn't make it here until it was dark out. So guess who didn't see Alice in her Alice shirt? Look at this blue donut that Eric just got. Take a bite. Tell me how it is. You good? Is that probably like the best donut you've ever had in your whole life? Yeah, put it in here. So, I lied. The park actually closes at 10, but we were still able to go onto the Skyliner and watch the fireworks and then come back here. The thing that we asked a cast member on our way out of the park towards the Skyliner, just to double check what time they close, because we're like, oh, you guys close at 11, right? She's like, uh, we close at 10, as we're literally walking out of the park. And we're like, are we not gonna be able to get back in now? So we told her they were leaving to watch the fireworks and Eric didn't have his headphones or whatever. And she was like, it's okay, like we'll just let you back in. And we literally got back probably at like 10, 15, maybe 10, 20. And the park literally closed at 10 and they let us back in. Like we had to re-go through security. We didn't have to scan our bands. Like we just walked back in. But it was so weird. Like I never ever thought that under any circumstance, whether you lost your family, lost, Whoever, like, I never ever thought that they would ever let you back into the park, like, past that exact time, because they seem so, like, down to the minute with stuff like that, with the rides and everything. Like, if you get there a second after 9 o'clock and they close at 9, you're not getting on the ride. It doesn't matter if your family's online, nothing. Here's the famous or not so famous jumpsuit. This is the price tag on the pants. And this is the price tag on the top. So all together you're looking at about $300, maybe more. I don't know if I'm doing the math. Oh, yeah. yeah. Probably over 300 with tax, truthfully. Wow. What are your guys' thoughts? Guys, it's, it's just a... Really uh, Thick. It's a thin. No, it's a weird material. It's I, very and it's thin. weird on the inside, so I don't like it. 
I like the way it looks, and I like the way that they're cuffed at the bottom, but like, it's I don't that, know. Yeah, let me show the whole thing. Yeah, it's like weird. Why would you put a pocket on that? It's like half spear jersey. I mean, I, it's cool what they tried to do with it, but like, it's just odd. Like, why? I saw this lounge fly and I was like, oh, this is really pretty. I've seen people wearing it. I go to look at the price tag. You guys, it's $300 for a lounge fly. Do we know why this is so much money? Truly, I really would like to know.